Did you have any guitar teachers or anything like that? I took polka lessons for two years. Playing drums or what? No, playing guitar. Are you, you know? serious? Yeah. I How old were you? Nine. Until I was 11. Why? He was the guy that taught guitar in the desert. You know? Did he show you anything that, that stuck? The polka. Right. Um, that, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, so uh -oh, was that a right uh -oh, hand uh -oh. thing? Do you remember what's... <laughs> Just the bop of that. Yeah. So you were playing with your players when you started. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know the picks. Do you still play? I, 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 I gotta say, some of the real obvious stuff, it's a bit like moronic, but some of the really obvious stuff was not obvious to me. Right. Like that there would be picks. I was like, what do you mean? Like, what's that? You know, like on year three playing guitar, I was like, what is it? You know, this pick that you and, and they were for sale at the desk and the thing was, but I was like, what, what, I don't get it. And so the first thing I bought was a thumb pick because I thought, well, I don't have to hold it. You know what I mean? I just, it's holding itself, you know. Do you ever mess around with it? I, I feel like I've never seen you play without a pick before. When I play at home, I don't play with the pick. And, yeah. Because it seems unnecessary, sort of, you know. I, I don't play with a pick. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, yeah. I'll never forget the time when you were like, I'm going to spend the next two years in my room finger picking. <laughs> True. And then you did. Yeah. And then you came out and it was like, Jesus, <laughs> you know? It's like there was a lot of finger picking going on. But I mean, just that move alone, I mean, if, if we slow it way the hell down. Yeah. I mean. So what, what fingers are you using? Well, sadly, I don't use my pinky much when I use this. three, though? And one, I'll say one of the things that Tom Polanski, the guy's name was, uh -huh. I don't know, people used to call these Ramones chords, these, just the two Bar fingers. Chords, yeah. But I, I, I never learned that way. It was always right. all the way across, all the time, always in major. I started picking up, you know, the octave finger. <laughs> ringing yeah, yeah but I started to say wow this could be my thing <laughs> this because, could... and again and that's a subtractive move you're taking out a note of the chord ba basically most of my playing is about taking something away so, so the idea is you're playing a bar chord but you're freeing up your pinky right because that's what I was doing anyways because right. I'm, I'm in order to ring the third and sort of mute this octave, because in lifting that octave, that high octave, out of the chord mm -hmm. and muting it with this top finger, right. you get that. It just sort of frees it up. Yeah. And and it started playing into the scale, like the the, the pentatonic scale. Of, we'll uh, show the blues scale up and down. The so. blues scale is. I started saying, what if I take things out and I go. Ah. Yeah, this is something I wanted to ask you about, because what the hell are you doing? When did you figure that one out? When I was 13 and I'm still doing it now. That's amazing. <laughs> See? So instead of being able to go. Now you can only go here. Huh. And, and instead of going. You go, you're doing the third, you know? This. Right, right. And it had this darker tone to it, you know? Yeah. The amount of times it sang about something I don't want to be mm -hmm. as a way to sort of be like, well, what's the, what is that, you know? Right, right. And the playing is, it, it's sort of like playing in that same voice, you know? Because if I'm going, if I play a D chord, but I go, Just give me a D chord. That's so red. Yeah, it does That's all so this red. weird. There's yeah, all yeah. this like curtsying and shit. Like yeah. I'm curtsying, I'm going. 
<laughs> you know, like, oh, it's really lovely to meet you. There's something cabaret and stupid <laughs> about it, you know? But do you hear it? Do you know what I'm, oh my God. Uh, what? I shocked you. Did you shock me? I shocked you. Oh, a little bit. Ooh. Oh, God. It makes me, oh, <laughs> makes me want to do it. Oh, that's weird. Ooh. Guitar solos to me it should be a really articulate way to make fun of guitar solos. Is it? <laughs> That's kind of where my guitar solo, it's, it's gotten to nonsense. You right. Know? And sometimes they sound like nonsense, but they're they're on played on purpose. You know. Let's have that Ben stuff. Okay. Okay. So. This is. Yeah. Go ahead. No, you go. No, please. <laughs> well. I, I grew up listening to, to early ZZ Top. Those records blew my mind, and, and I listened to Hendrix first. And to me, Hendrix is the ultimate guitar player. There's two, to me, there's two Jimmys. There's Jimmy Page and Jimi Hendrix, and Jimi Hendrix is the black guy who plays, who's like the light. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy Page is the white guy who's actually the dark, right, right. you know? Right. Hendrix and Gibbons had this thing that I noticed that were backwards of each other. One of the reasons I really want to jam with Billy is I was like, you have to show me what it is. It's more than that. What is this? Because he would always be playing. He would go, right? You know, right. and I would, but I was like, that's not it, you right. know. And it was this. Oh, he does that move. Not only does he do that move, he does a single tap. You know, he was like, oh, let me show us. <laughs> you know, and it was this. Oh, I see. And, and, but he'd be ripping through this thing and just do that in the middle of it. <laughs> and when he showed me, I literally was like, you fucking kidding me, that's it? Where I least would expect it, it's a tap. Right, right, right. A tap is considered vulgar. For, for blues, yeah, certainly, yeah. you know. Yeah. But, yeah. but then it dawned on me how a single tap, it's, it's not... We'll make very clear. Again, a tap is this. <laughs> so you're touching here, that's a tap. So, yeah, you're touching. So, in other words, like, like heavy metal guitar players would go, yeah. and people think that that's bad, but... Well, if, some people do, some people some think people, it's amazing, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. If you're growing up listening to Black Flag, you're like, tapping is like a very silly thing. It's, yeah. what, it's what opportunity does softly, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so when he showed me that, I was like, the holy grail to this notion of what he was doing is locked in a den of iniquity. Right, 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 right. You know, this... Yeah, <laughs> like this wonderful move is right. locked in it and in, in where you're not supposed to be is it's in a tap it's Right uh, He does it all the time It's <laughs> it's his fucking thing dude <laughs> I really should be giving his thing away, but it, but, but but he's I, so sweet about. It. I mean, I, I found him to be. But you know what? Well, I but mean, you know, I never used to talk about my thing, and right. then and no one ever used to know a goddamn thing about it, and and then all of a sudden people start to not give a fuck because you're not going to give tell them anything about it, right? Right, right. right. And then <laughs> so and so there comes a point where you're like, well, I want to share this. What was the other bend? Well, that we're but doing? so the Hendrix bend is. <laughs> this is it. It's it's this backwards. It's like if you're already up, and but oh, you don't okay. let it. You're bending up from this side. I have no idea what you're doing. You're going, you're going. So you're As an example, so I'm starting with these two. On the top string? And I'm going, starting on the E. So if I was going to. Oh, yeah. You're already bent up, and you're right. going. But, but you're not letting them both ring together. You're going. Same finger, both strings. I see. So, and I almost need to get to it by playing something before. Right. Are they the exact same thing, or are they polar opposites? No, but they work the same function. One guy goes, hey, do, and the other one goes, hey, do. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was this moment where I was like, I'm going to make these part of my thing, too, you know? Because 
if you're gonna pull from somebody, you're like, well, I'm pulling from Joe Shit the Ragman and Gravel Gertie, and you're like, well, I'm pulling from Hendrix and Billy Gibbons, you know, and it's like, <laughs> who's Joe Shit the Ragman? I don't know, I just made that up, but, but it's, you know, and Gra so is Gravel Gertie. <laughs> who's Joe Shit the Ragman? <laughs> I'm glad you asked me that, actually. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about right hand real quick because here is another thing that I got mad when I was in my mid twenties after playing guitar forever that that nobody ever sat me down and was like, dude, pay attention to your right hand. Did, mm -hmm. I mean, did you was that something inherent or did you ever have anybody tell you that? I'm a huge fan of the difference between an up and down stroke. Absolutely, right. Which um, is we got to show. Well, this like, what was that? That's an up stroke. Oh yeah, yeah. What's the, yeah, just, and it's yeah. different. It's, yeah. There's just a difference. And an upstroke right. is a is a pluck. Right, right, it's right, like right. yanking a feather out of a chicken. Right. You know, it's right. it's it's fast, it's electric, and it's got a bounce on it like a Super Bowl. Right. You know those Super Bowls is bang 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 bang. Right. And 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 a downstroke is like pushing someone. You right. Know? Right. I mean, first of all, if you're just to like take them separately. Oh, yeah. This is the most big. So, yeah. so, so here's the difference. Yeah. This would be all downstrokes. Okay. Here's up and down. And there's a huge, huge, huge difference there. Uh, it's you massive. I mean? Yeah. And you know, uh, that's just something that nobody. What ever I grew up on was. Right. 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 Yeah. right. And then and play that same. Play that same thing with up and down strokes. Like if I go. Now, if you want to be tough, right? It's the downstroke vibe. You can't upstroke yourself into toughness, you know. Yeah, but right. if you want to, if you want to, if you want to have some rhythm, and if you want to put the sort of dance into it, right? And like shake butt. Right. Then, I mean, the difference was clear in what you just did. And then what about doom do be do we do for any here and honey hang? Oh. The it's well, this combination, but it's right. mostly. It's huh. just this combination, like, huh. it's supposed to be mostly down. Right, 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 right. But there's moments you have to do it up to right, right. get the swing. Right, right, right. As you swing across and that sort of... See, that's funny. I would have sworn that that was an up and down thing. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And it, it's mostly down, but there's up shots to it, you know? Right, right. And, but, but then... It... Oh, I see. Because right. it was black flag to me. It was, right, right, you know, right. it was this. I'm hearing voices when no one's around. What are you going to tell, tell a 10 year old who wants to play guitar? Some, something that they can really take with them. For me, that's easy. When you expect anything from music, you expect too much. So you play for yourself, you play to enjoy it, and you make the most of it for you, period. You don't. I never thought I would be doing this now. I feel so lucky to be doing this now. I can't believe this is what I do all the time. I know I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world, but I just love it. Mm. And I hope that's the only reason I'm here, you know? And I think, because I honestly think that that's enough. I think sitting around in your sweatpants and doing something over and over and over again. You don't have to work at Kmart to do that. You can yeah. do that at home. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> And have more fun with it. Well, thanks yeah. for sweating with me, man. I appreciate yeah, dude. it. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much yeah. for Always showing your guitar moves. Oh, we shocked each other. That was about good.